Hey Siri, distance to Ottawa, Illinois. Hey everyone, History Mystery Man here coming to you today from Ottawa, Illinois, the site of the first ever Lincoln-Douglas debate. It happened here on August 21st, 1858. The little giant going at it against the rail splitter, all vying for a seat in the U.S. Senate. The place was crazy that day. A buzz with thousands of people. The town the size of Ottawa literally doubled that day. Estimates say that as many as 14,000 people crowded Washington Park here in the square to hear these two guys go at it. It was an amazing day. Military bands played their very best. Artillery shells thundered in the air. Politicians canvassed and quarreled everywhere. The place was absolutely abuzz with excitement. And for good reason, back in those days, you know, the local politicians that went around and did their thing, they were the rock stars of their era. People, thousands, tens of thousands of people came from everywhere to see Lincoln and Douglas debate as well as the other top politicians of the day. But can you imagine speaking to a crowd of 14,000 in this park, no electricity, no microphones, no amplification whatsoever. They literally had to shout it out, scream it out. Lincoln in his high tenor voice and Douglas in his low, deep baritone. What a time it must have been. I would have given anything to be here that day, right here in beautiful Ottawa, Illinois, for the first of seven famous Lincoln-Douglas debates. Look at that statue is absolutely gorgeous. Isn't that cool? Welcome to Ottawa. <laughs> Are you guys from Ottawa? Yes. Yeah? How, how do you like it here? Well, I love it. I believe it. Nice retirement community and uh, there's very little crime. Oh man. And you can walk Talk the streets to me. of the night. You don't have to worry about getting mugged. Yeah. You very seldom ever hear of anything bad happening here. That's so cool. It is a beautiful little town. Really well preserved. Well, there's a lot of history here. Yeah. There. Yeah. Oh, Thank you so much. You're welcome. I love your town. It's absolutely beautiful. Well, it is really pretty and a lot of nice people, too. I can tell. Here's two of them right here. Yeah. Have a good day, sir. Th thank you, sirs. Very easy. Appreciate it. You know I am. Spent half my life looking for that guy. I just wanted to give you a little quick tour of downtown Ottawa, one of the main drags. It's a beautiful city. Population maybe, I don't know, 18 to 20,000. So still very much a small town, full of small town charm, beautifully restored buildings reaching back to the 1800s here on one of the main drags. Isn't it cool? It's so clean, very little crime. I mean, who doesn't love that? That's what I'm looking for. The LaSalle County Courthouse, really nice. But this town is special to me. I've not spent a lot of time here, but certainly special to me because Abraham Lincoln spent a lot of time in Ottawa, Illinois, not only during the first of seven Lincoln-Douglas debates of 1858, but he spent a lot of time trying court cases here in the Illinois Supreme Court uh, throughout the 1850s. He traveled on the 8th Judicial Circuit. And of course, back then, uh, the court came to you. They traveled around from county seat, the, all the lawyers and the judges, they all roomed together, slept in barns, slept in, on floors, <laughs> slept outside. It was the traveling 8th Judicial Circuit that Lincoln uh, moved around the state of Illinois in, and he absolutely loved the lawyer life, especially when he could travel. And, you know, back then he was gone like six months of every year traveling on the 8th Judicial Circuit. Isn't that cool? I like that pub on Main beautiful church steeples ahead uh, but just lots of charm and character I really 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 love this place well done Ottawa Illinois 
good thing too because I came 300 miles to go through this door. Hi. Hey there. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Or do you know anything about where he may have stayed when he traveled through her? Or would anyone here know? Oh gosh, that would totally be a Tom question. Yeah. He does all the tours and stuff. Um, hang on, let me see if I can get him. Maybe he Okay. Can... Because he's like the perfect person to ask all these questions. Oh, that's the guy I'm looking for then. The yes. perfect person. I didn't know there was a perfect person, but I think Tom is just that awesome. There is, yes, <laughs> and that's his name. Tom Awesome. Are you really that awesome? <laughs> it's really rough being as mediocre as I am and have the last name of Awesome. The Awesome name's been in Ottawa since uh, 1874. Uh, really? Yeah, my great-great-grandfather came down from Canada into Ottawa, uh, 1874. On my mother's side, now that side of the family came in 1836 uh, wow. for the purpose of building the canal. They came from Cork, Ireland, and they came over and they built the Erie Canal, and then they came down to Ottawa in 36 and started to work on our Illinois and Michigan Canal. Are, are you a lifelong Ottawa resident? Born and raised, yep. So I just heard you say this is the coolest town anywhere, everywhere. It's the greatest town in the world. Greatest town. That's what Without you said. A doubt. Yeah. <laughs> what a leads doubt. you to that conclusion? Well, look around. I know. It's and, beautiful. I, and I don't just offer that up willy nilly. You, uh, you said it first. It's a great town. I did. Um, but like every town in the uh, in the world, you know, we have our economics ups and our economic downs. Um, we happen to be on an up right now, and things are going great here amazing uh, the revitalization of our downtown all of our downtown areas on the National Register of Historic Places I, it doesn't take long to figure out how how awesome this <laughs> town is um, you, you are are you like the town historian tour guide I actually mean, is well, that your full-time gig yeah it is yeah um, that's a cool gig it is it's great a great job um, you know Ottawa has a lot of historians when you have a town that is so rich and full of history that which we are um, you know, there's there's enough for everybody, and uh, it's amazing. It's the little known facts, and the and the things that could be lost to history are the things that I focus on. Um, I guess you could say like Lincoln is sort of low hanging fruit, but some of the little factoids that I like to share with with you guys right now about Ottawa is the the first coal ever discovered in North America was discovered in Ottawa, Illinois. Wait a minute, what did you just say? The, the first, first coal, coal, burnable coal okay. ever discovered in North America was discovered in Ottawa, Illinois, uh, near Coval Creek, right behind you. Um, used to be the Geiger House Boarding House, and that is where the first African American ever cast a vote in the state of Illinois, right here in Ottawa, Illinois. Just across the street from the town square is the William Reddick Mansion, built in the late 1850s. William Reddick served four consecutive two year terms as the sheriff of Ottawa, Illinois, uh, eventually landed in the state senate. Ottawa, Illinois. Look at these old gasoline pumps here at Jimbo. They service automobiles, obviously, an old Firestone dealership. Wait till you see what's inside. Antique gas pumps. Texaco, Sky Chief. An old, I'm gonna guess, Model A or Model T. Don't hold me to the fire. I don't know my old antique cars all that well but i wanted to give you a sneak peek i mean this is is this small town america or what an old jukebox this is a service station you can buy gas on an old in an old gas pump while the church bells play right across the street this is a service station in small town ottawa and this is what you get here it's awesome an era gone by i love it what is that? Looks like a pump of some kind. Hand pump the fuel, I guess. I don't know. Looks like it, doesn't it?
You you pump the gas for your customers? Yes. Oh, that's so cool. That's like night. That's like 1966. I love this. Full service. Jimbo. If I get my car fixed in Ottawa, Illinois, I'm coming to Jimbo. That's all there is to it. This place is awesome. Are you, are you from Ottawa? Yes, I am. Yeah, you like living here? Oh, I guess. I've been here 76 years. 76 years? Oh, you better love it then. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a cool little town myself. Yeah, it is nice. Yeah, I think so. I like to park over here. I take them every day. Yeah, the dogs? A walk, yeah. Thank you, sir. You just subscribed to the History Mystery Man? All of them. There you go. Oh, that's Steve Kinzer, one of my racing heroes. And you su you hit the notification bell. Yep. Man, <laughs> I owe you big time, mister. Are you from Ottawa? Yep. Yeah? How do you like it here? Good. Born yeah. and raised. I might yeah. be the organist over here. Are you serious? One of them, yeah. Holy mackerel. Yeah. This is why I do this, because I love that church. And it's kind of cool working over here. I know you hear it every day, but to hear those church bells come out every day, I think it's really cool. That says small town America to me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, at five o'clock they go for 15, 20 minutes every day. I love it. I love it. And you are the organist at this church. One of them, yeah. One of them. Yep. That is so awesome. And you work here. Yep, work here. And you're born and raised. Yep. And my here kids go to that school right there. And your kids go to that school right there. What is that? What did that building used to be? It's a gorgeous. It's a rectory. Really? I okay. Yep. I, I I'm I'm jealous of your life here. I really <laughs> am. I love this town. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's clean. It's nice. I know the crime is low. Yep. I'm all for that. But uh, are you glad you 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 are living in Ottawa, Illinois? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Highly recommend it. Anybody that wants to come down and check it out. Yeah. Well, that's me. Yep. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Take care. Organist for that church. That is so cool. Yep. And there's the other one right there. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. There he goes. The lone buffalo. Good thing I'm alone. We're going in. I'm going in. Ooh. Super cool place here in downtown Ottawa. A brewery. Super nice. Love the exposed brick. You know, this building goes way back and way up, just like they all used to do. Very cool. That's where they do the brewing. Super nice restaurant. I think I'll, I think I'll eat. Can you fix me up with a place to sit? Yeah. All right. I come to just the right one? place. Yeah, just me. That's all, all right. I got. Me and Siri. Do you want to hey sit Siri, or outside? I want to sit inside. All right. I've been outside all day. And then at a bar or table. Uh, what would work best for you? I don't want to hog up all your prime, you know, primo, primo. I can put you right here. That's fine. Okay. That'll work just fine. I don't care where you put me. Brittany will be right with you. Thank you so much. Still looking for Lincoln. You hear those locusts? Those late summer locusts? I love that sound. Anyway, Lincoln slept here. Right there. At the woo, there we go, the Glover House. Glover uh, was the mayor and prominent lawyer here in Ottawa. And after Lincoln's debate with Douglas at the adjacent park, Washington Park, he was carried on people's shoulders over here. To the Glover House uh, where he had dinner and uh, eventually stayed for the night right here. Uh, obviously it's gone. They tore it down in the 1960s. Beautiful church now. But anyway, this is where it was. I may never find him. 
there's there's so much to work with here. What's oh, yeah. your most requested tour? What do people want? Is 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 Lincoln the guy or not necessarily? Well, Lincoln shows up on a couple of my different tours. I have uh, some general Ottawa history tours. Uh, my bike tour, which can also be driven, is a general Ottawa history tour. But I also have theme tours. I have a tour that is uh, all about the Underground Railroad and Ottawa's association with that. Um, that is definitely one of my top tours right now. It just came out this year. I just wrote that in the last couple of years and brought that online, uh, I think in March. Um, and also the tour about the Radium Girls of Ottawa, Illinois. And the Radium Girls are a, uh, a major topic. Um, very, very sad story, a disturbing story about capitalism and making money over human life. Um, Ottawa was subject to that. For almost 98 years, we dealt with uh, the byproduct of the radium that was brought to our town. Uh, we just got that all cleaned up. We don't have any radium now. Yeah. It's, been a, it's been a few years now that we've been radium free, but uh, but it was devastating. You it are, devastated the community. You, you are a glowing tour guide, though, I must say. <laughs> not from radium. No, no, that's my not. radiant personality. So, anyway, so yeah. how important is Lincoln to Ottawa? I mean, he's one of many things that that's so fascinating about this little town. Yeah, well, I think uh, the more important question is how important was Ottawa to Lincoln? interesting way to put it and it was it was very important town you know he, he rode on the canal here he rode our streets he, he um, fought cases as a circuit lawyer in our courthouses um, he, he found Ottawa to be very significant uh, to him as, in his election to become the senator from Illinois and also in the presidential election which he was victorious and in the, in the presidential election he went up against his old nemesis here, Stephen A. Douglas. Yeah, yeah, the little little giant. The little giant. Yeah, uh, yeah he, I mean, he's you know from the Black Hawk War, 1832 up through I believe 1859, he spent a lot of time here. He did. Um, he actually mustered into the service for the right. Black Hawk Wars here in Ottawa, and he yep. mustered out here in Ottawa twice. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. So, are there any you know, looking at his time span here, 32 to 1859 ish. Are there any surviving buildings that he was in that we know of? Was he in the Reddick Mansion? Or? No, he would not have been in the Reddick Mansion. Okay. Um, William Reddick was a, a staunch supporter of Stephen A. Douglas. He was Ooh. never in the Reddick Mansion, yes. So, so Lincoln the, knew not to go knock on the door there. Well, well you know what? He, the, the little giant <laughs> walked funny. right over to those steps there and stood on those steps and, and gave a little speech after the debate here. So that's and, probably where Stephen Douglas stayed with, that, with him. Uh, no, actually, Stephen Douglas stayed at the boarding house behind us. He was okay. at the Geiger House, which is the boarding house where the first African-American cast his ballot in 1871 uh, right here in Ottawa and uh, so he was there he did he was greeted in by William Reddick and he did spend time in the house but after the debate our appellate court building right over here was half built the day of the debate so Ab when Abraham Lincoln was here for the debate that building was halfway up that was our uh, third Grand District State Supreme Court building and the appellate court building Tom, listen, thanks for spending a little time with me today. My pleasure. Uh, it is a beautiful town, and yes, I really is. mean that. And that's why I came back, because I did a quick drive through a couple years ago, and I said, my God, this place is fascinating. I'm going to come back. It took a while, but I'm here, and I'm glad I came back. We're glad you're here. It's a beautiful town, and everybody should visit Ottawa. It's, uh, it's historically significant. We have great festivals all summer and winter long. Uh, amazing restaurants, beautiful shops. And like I said, our entire downtown is on the National Register of Historic Places. It's gorgeous. Now, I walked through your downtown late last night. There were people out. There were families out. Yeah. I felt safe. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was really cool. Yeah. Yep. 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 Thank you so much. My pleasure. Yes, sir. I understand that Abraham Lincoln did visit this home. Yeah, Lincoln uh, stayed here and then went down to the downtown and did some things, to, you know, down there, and then came back up here and stayed overnight a time or two and then went back down. When was the home built, you know?